Hey guys, this is Sam from MWR with another video. Today we're going to look at the notching jig for the CF20 magazines that we're going to be releasing to make your mags compatible with the EMF200. Uh, we know that this is not a new concept by any means. The last couple of weeks we've seen a few uh, iterations come out on, on Facebook. So it is not new, but we did feel like there were some things that we can improve and we've made this uh, available to purchase on our website as a product that comes assembled to you and you can start cutting your mags or you can print your own parts and use uh, tools that you have. So one of the big things that was being discussed and why these weren't available before was the bracketing for the different tools were not standardized so we've created brackets for the tools as well as a jig here we can see the styrian customs iteration which seemed to work really really well but it was using the default shroud of his router and therefore you needed to have the same router to make sure it's compatible so i think that's why he wasn't releasing that and then we have one from matt on facebook from the planet eclipse group who did a similar thing but for a dremel so you need to have the right dremel and the right part on the front of the dremel to make this jig work so we've kind of eliminated all that by creating a bracket for both the router and the dremel and a jig that works for both so here we're gonna go through the steps of how to use it and then at the end we're gonna show how to print it um, so we like to brace it down onto the table you can also screw it in if you want a permanent mount and the bracket has a little uh, mag release to catch onto the mag so that you know that it's always in the right place for the notching procedure in this uh, first case we're gonna use this uh, handheld router this is a battery powered handheld router from Amazon it came with uh, the fluted bit that we needed to do this and it has a 65 millimeter motor diameter which is what we need for this bracket that we created and we have come to understand that most handheld routers will have this motor diameter so this is how we can ensure that this uh, kit will be kind of universal for everybody that either owns this or wants to get one to know that it will fit with this bracket. You'll then need a one quarter inch fluted straight bit. And the one that we're gonna use came in with the kit of this Pacific router, but you can find one as well on Amazon. So to set the depth, we've created this little print that will clip onto the front of the bracket and you will push on the bracket until the bit comes into contact with that depth guide. And that way you know that you are cutting the right depth for your notches. So we'll screw that down onto the bracket and we're gonna start cutting. Let's put on the battery. We're gonna follow the contour of the jig and go one time towards the left on the top and then come down a little bit and then go back to the right. And then we'll do a second pass to just make sure it's all nice and clean. Being a little bit of a perfectionist here, there really wasn't anything wrong with the first pass, but I haven't done this many times yet, so I'm still learning how to do it. And finally, I would suggest to put a little ramp on the mag so that the mag catch will kind of jump over the mag and then catch back into the notch. Otherwise, you'll have to press the button to insert your mag or smack it really hard, which is not ideal. So you can use any kind of sanding tool to do this or a knife. I prefer the knife. It's just quick and easy and does a pretty clean cut. So here it is in the EMF 200. I know mine doesn't look like much right now. It's being uh, worked on for some potential future products at MWR Paintball. So it's got a really nice secure fit. There's absolutely no wobble and it goes in smooth. So I think that's a win-win. 
Next, we're gonna do the same operation, but with the Dremel, which I'll preface by saying that is a lot slower, at least with the bit that I own right now. So the Dremel that you'll want needs to have this threaded adapter. There's a lot of Dremels that don't have this. So you wanna buy the kind of higher end Dremel, the corded one, probably more specifically with the cap that you can remove. And then you'll need to find one of these 1 8 fluted bits to do this cut as well. Not a regular drill bit will work for this. You need to find this specifically for a Dremel. 1 8 fluted bit like this one for $15 Canadian on Amazon. So this one is the 1 8 bit. The one that I own is a bit different. I don't know where it's from exactly. Some kind of kit that I had and it's not great. So I, I suspect this one will do a better job. So you have to remove the little cap that you had there on the Dremel to be able to add on the adapter. And then we want to loosely put on the drill bit and put on the bracket. We want to loosely put the bit so that we can adjust the depth at this point with the depth guide. So we're gonna push on that until the depth guide won't go any further and we'll know that the drill bit will be at the right depth. I keep saying drill bit, but it's not a drill bit. It is a fluted bit. And then we're gonna remove the bracket again just to tighten the chuck on the drum. confirm that the depth is still correct and we'll start cutting. Now I think I ran out of CF20 mags at this point. They were all notched already so I'm gonna use a dire dam magazine but that's a good test as well to show that this also works on the different magazines. I want to turn this Dremel up to some of the higher speeds and go as fast as I can not to melt the plastic during this process but it is a lot slower and I think I need to improve a little bit my technique um, but having both I would definitely suggest the router for doing this it is a lot faster and cleaner you got to go multiple times the width of the drill bit in this case is pretty thin so you need to pass like four or five times horizontally and then a little bit of back and forth upwards to get a lot of the stuff in the middle to come out but even after one pass it really wasn't that good so I removed a little bit of the flashing with a knife and I went back in for a second pass with the Dremel. I sped up the footage a little bit but overall it took a bit under a minute to complete this one mag on one side. Of course on this mag you need to do it twice. So I went back to make sure that I went through the whole notch and that the surface was nice and smooth. And finally with the knife again. On this mag, I didn't find that making the ramp on the top was really useful. It clips pretty nicely without it. You don't have to press the button. Pretty happy with that. Now that we have seen how it works, let's talk about the printed parts and how you can print this yourself if you want to. To find this, you'll go on Cults 3D. You'll be able to find it by searching Notching Jig or CF20. You'll find it on our profile there, MWR Designs, and everything you need to know about printing and the hardware needs are listed there. Alternatively, if you have a bamboo printer, you can go on Bamboo Maker World and find the same parts by searching CF20. You'll find the notching jig near the top and just download and open that. You'll find that there are three plates. One of them, the first one is the jig that you'll need to print with the two separate parts, the lever and the depth guide. And then the other plates are for the optional 65 millimeter router bracket or the Dremel bracket, depending on which tool you're gonna to be using. The Dremel bracket is less than an hour, but the other two parts are around two hours to print at 10% or 15% infill. You'll have to remove some supports from the bottom and install the little lever in the slot there that allows the mag to securely fit and stay into place. 
I used some super glue to glue this lever into place, but if you want to screw down the whole jig onto a surface, it will also keep it in place. On the bracket for the 65 millimeter router, you'll need a one inch M5 or 1032 screw and an M5 nut. Those are usually found on Tipman markers or Milsig markers. If you need one of those, you can find one there probably. I hope you liked this video and I hope you like our version of the notching jig. Please uh, share this and yeah, hopefully you'd be able to do this mod for other people in your group. Just bring, bring these tools to the field and just start notching mags and uh, make a couple bucks maybe. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.